I'm Noel Alfonso. I work for the Canadian Museum of Nature. I'm a biologist, and more specifically, I'm an ichthyologist. And that means I study fishes. One species of, uh, of fish you refer to as a fish. A number of species is always referred to as fishes. We research um, species identities, what constitutes a species, how does it vary across the country, and we look at geographic ranges of species. Once you know what the species are, it's then possible to relate the species to each other, to, to figure out interrelationships of living things. In order to collect these fish, we have a number of methods. We use seine nets in which we actively walk through the water and collect these fishes. We use trap nets. We use hoop nets. We also use something called an electroshocker. Our collections and research can be really important in giving us information about the state of health of, for example, water bodies. We have long-term data sets and different species have different tolerances to environmental conditions. There's a species in eastern Canada called the Brook Silversides. It's a bioindicator species, and why? It requires good water quality. If you know that it's been there for many, many years, as our databases will tell you, if it vanishes, then there has to be a reason for that. And with that kind of knowledge, we can inform policymakers. We can tell people who have the authority to go after polluters that there's some kind of problem going on. The role of the Canadian Museum of Nature is to document biodiversity. It's important to know how many species we have, as we have a database of knowledge on local fishes. You know the species composition, that's biodiversity. If you have, as we have, a record over 50 or 60 or 70 years, when the species composition changes, that's a change in biodiversity. I've been working as an ichthyologist for 20 years, and I, I think I'm the luckiest guy on the planet because I'm being paid to do what I love. <laughs>